Hey y'all, Gail Doom Bass here from World Record Redneck. A couple days ago, I just put out a video fishing this spot for the very first time. What I told y'all was, I was catching crappie, throwing out with a crappie jig, but I was fishing straight down vertical and I kept getting hits. I can tell you through years and years of wisdom, when you're getting bumps and hits, hard hits on a crappie jig and they're not sticking, you need to come back out there, put your worm on, because it's brim, okay? It's always brim doing that. I've done this plenty of times. Now, let's just see how quick it takes me once I count this down. I'm in 17 feet of water. There's 12. I had one length of the rod for six. Second length is 12. Now, I'm gonna add about three more. About 15 feet is what I'm gonna go down. Because, whoa, look at that. It didn't even make it down there all the way. Yes, sir, that's what I'm talking about. Now, that's not as big as what I hope some of them are, but it's an eater, yes, sir. It's an eater. Uh, man, I was gonna count the seconds, but Gil didn't have time to count, no, sir. They're pretty, and it's, you fillet that out. I like to fillet my fish, boneless. You can't get one side in your mouth all at once. Well, you could, but your mouth would be too full. That wouldn't be good manners, no, sir. So, that's, I'm just telling you, that's how fast it is. When you find a crappie spot and you're missing bumps on that crappie jig, come back with worms. Let's just see how fast this happens. Okay, now, I didn't even get to count. It wasn't even down there a whole second. What you gotta do after every brim, for those of you that haven't done this a lot, is check that worm, cause it's probably about to come off after one hits it real hard. Seat it back on there right. And let's just see. All right, here we go. 1,001, 1,000. Okay. That is a trot line bait. Just about big enough for a filet, but a real good trot line bait, yes sir. And one thing you wanna make sure you have, one thing you gotta make sure you have is a pair of pliers while you're brim fishing. Because sometimes you're gonna need them. I won't need it for this one. No. All right, well, that's two on that same piece of worm. Yep, a few seconds, less than 10. Yes, sir. Kindly swallowed it. It's always important when you're brim fishing, you got to have pliers. Little bluegill, perfect for a flathead catfish, yes sir. Oh yeah, that didn't even take five seconds. Another pumpkin seed, perfect for the trot line. Yes sir. There we go, the boat moved back around where I've been catching them and boom, there he was. Yes sir. Come on baby. Hmm, that is hard, it's not very big. Boy, he must have been fighting another brim for that because he hit hard. Boy, howdy, he just, mm, I hope he didn't swallow it, but I bet he did. Because I really didn't feel it much. He had time to, yep, he had time to get it on in there, sure did. That took every bit of five seconds. Trot line bait. Ooh, boy, that borderline eating right there, yes, sir. I mean, a man could make a sandwich. A man could make a sandwich out of that, yes, sir. 14, let's just try 14. I'm seeing a few fish up above. My goodness, it didn't even get all the way down there, no, sir. Yes, sir, look at there, look at there. They're pretty, ain't they? They are that. I'll tell you one thing. I'm gonna enjoy putting him on that truck, huh? It is what it is, yes sir. Oh, that's a bigger, that's an eater there, I think. Yes, sir. That'll fillet right there, yes sir. 
Yeah, the little ones are up above it. Yes, sir. Mmm, that's a little one. <laughs> Perfect for the trot line, though. Oh, again. That's it. That's the way it is down there, boys. When you find a... Again, when you find a crappie hole, but you're getting bites on your crappie jig or your minna, and they're missing it. A bunch of them are missing it. Just bam, hitting it harder than a crappie. You can get it down there and catch them like this all day long, pretty much. Hey, y'all, hope you learned something today, or at least enjoyed a little entertainment. I don't know about y'all, but it's so much fun to go fishing. I don't care what I'm catching. I'd rather catch a throwback brim than go to work. How about you, yes sir? I'm going to take these live brim, 17 of them, and I'm gonna go bait up a trot line not too far from here. I'll run that thing tomorrow afternoon sometime, tomorrow evening, less than 24 hours from right now. Law says I gotta run it within 48. Sometimes the weather don't let you get out within 24. But uh, I'll be back tomorrow to see we can't turn some of these little fish into some big fish. Y'all have a blessed day. God bless. See you soon. Yes, sir.